Okay, in this video, um, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can jailbreak your own iPod Touch 2G. And this is the full untethered version, so you can turn it off as many times as you want, and uh, it'll still be jailbroken. So, what you want to do now is there will be a link for this right here. And just click download now. It should take you to a Mediafire link. And download it. Then after you're done downloading it, you'll have this uh, setup file. Double click that. Click next. Keep clicking next. Then create desktop icon. Next. Install. Okay, then now launch the Quick Freedom. Hit OK. This pops up, just click Allow. Okay, here's what you gotta do just click Jailbreak. And make sure your iPod Touch 2G is in. Right now, I do not have a, in, an iPod Touch 2G, so this is just gonna show you how to use the program. So, what you do now is uh, it should automatically, automatically find it if you have it. But uh, I'm gonna see if I have it. So I'm gonna stop the video, come back if when I find it. Okay, I found the file, and if you can't find it on your computer, click the download button; it'll download for you. But uh, before you do all that, make sure you install libusb. That, that you have to do that for it to work then hit browse if it doesn't show it up okay now that I found it should have a green check mark then hit X want to start responding it may take a little bit for it to recognize it okay now click next once it's done uh, I don't like installer that much because it's really buggy and nobody really uses it no more because everybody you always use is in uh, Cydia now. So I'm just going to get rid of that. You can use the custom boot logo and you can select one of these if you want. So you can either have pineapple, silver pineapple, colorful apple, owned. I like this one the best or you can use a custom one and search your computer for one. I remember I asked to be like, I don't remember the size right now. Uh, then hit create firmware. I'll be back when this is done. Okay, it has successfully made a custom firmware right here. Okay. And it automatically saved it to the desktop, so click OK. then hit next now you want to put your uh, iPod into DFU mode this is where you hold the uh, you turn it off and then you turn it back on hold down the home button for 10 seconds then you press the on and off uh, and the home for 10 seconds then you let go of the uh, power button after the iPod is turned back on and just keep holding it down until it goes into the DFU mode then right, if you need the DFU instructions are right here then you can start pre jailbreak but or click the jailbreak thing or pre jailbreak and it should automatically go for you now here you want to open up iTunes I'll plug my iPod in just for a demonstration for this. But you guys will have a second generation iPod to do this. Okay, now 
here's where it shows your summary and what you want to do. Okay, now you hold down the shift button and click restore. So this box pops up. Draw back down this and go to desktop. Select custom firmware and hit open. I'm canceling because it's not for my iPod. Okay. Now let that go through and all that stuff. Then hit next after you're done. And you should have a jailbroken iPod and you can turn it on and off as many times as you want. Now broken to so don't upgrade it. And see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.